Hey loves! Today I'm back with another Shop My Stash and this is your monthly reminder to use up products you already own, shop your stash, and do a full face. And let's do it together! Today I'm doing a pop of color, so we'll see how it turns out. But I hope you guys enjoy, grab a snack, and let's get into it. So first, as always, we're going to start with some eyeshadow and this is going to be the main moment of today's video. I was already thinking about this look because I saw this palette in my collection a few days ago and I definitely want to use it because I love CoverGirl shadows. So this is the CoverGirl True Naked That's Red palette. These little palettes from CoverGirl are so nice, but I've never tried this one before, so we're definitely going to do a pop of color today. Now let's pick up some liner and mascara. I'm thinking possibly a little colorful liner on the waterline as well but i don't really know which color if i want to do teal black or purple so i'm just going to grab a little bit of everything this la girl shockwave neon liner is really pretty i'm going to grab that and possibly maybe a black one i've actually been really loving this rimmel exaggerate liner it's a waterproof pencil but it's so creamy and black i feel like it's a really good dupe for the huda beauty eye coal so really love this one i'm gonna grab this and maybe we'll do a little pop of blue but i'm not really sure because i have a vision of what i want to do but i don't know if it's going to come to life because you know how that is but another really pretty teal liner is the nyx vivid rich this one is in aquamarine dream it's so pretty i used this recently and it makes my brown eyes pop so i'm gonna grab those three and we'll decide once the look is complete which one I'm gonna apply. For mascara, I've actually been really loving the one from Fenty. I wasn't a big fan of this when I first used it, but it has grown on me and it's actually really nice. Another mascara I really have been loving is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. This one is in Blue Ya Mind. So I'm gonna grab this too because I might wanna do colorful mascara instead of colorful liner, we'll see. For lashes, I'm thinking something a little bit more voluminous since we're doing a pop of color and it's going to be super smoky. So I don't think I'm going to do any winged liner, but I definitely want a thicker lash. These are actually really pretty, the AF94 Lash 03s. Super voluminous, but they still actually are very lightweight. I also have those from Salon Perfect. I actually don't really love those. I remember trying them out. I didn't really like them on my eye shape, actually. These are a really pretty, more natural option from AOA Studio. I get these on Amazon. And these are kind of like the Demi Wispies, but even more natural. Also a very thin band, so they're easy to apply. So those are pretty, but a little too natural for today's look. So I think I'm going to go with AF94. And it looks like I already used these, so I'm going to have to clean them up with some alcohol. But I love this brand. I also have some more lashes over here. I need to organize my lash drawer. It's looking a little crusty but i used to be obsessed with the 663s from salon perfect so these might be another option as well it's funny because i don't really use lashes this dramatic anymore but these could work for today's look let's pick out a good setting spray i might even do a little combo of two because i'm extra like that but i have some really good ones a lot of these i have not used in a little bit i really like this one from moira the micro dot setting spray this is amazing i know it says oil control on here i actually feel like it's more of a natural finish setting spray but the mist on it is so nice so that's a nice option but you know what i have not used the smashbox weightless setting spray in forever and this used to be one of my favorites and i don't remember the last time that i picked this up so i think this might be the winner classic and now we are going to pick out some primer so we have a high-end setting spray we could do a high-end primer combo i love the smashbox primerizer that one was a classic for me but I also love the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass because it's so smoothing. So this one might have to be the option. This LA Girl Blurring Primer, this is not good. This actually does nothing to the skin. I have to get rid of that eventually, but I think that might be the winner. And I'm kind of feeling a little bit more of like a glowy makeup look. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of this Fenty Ease Drop All Over Glow Enhancer. I might mix this in with my foundation or I might just apply it on my skin for a little extra glow. This is really pretty. We're doing good so far. Now let's pick out a foundation. I think I'm going to do something like little bit more lightweight but I still want something with good coverage so let's see what we have most of these are like my skin tins more lighter weight products got a couple more foundations here I honestly 
think I'm going to use the Turn Up the Base BB Cream from One Size. Because I feel like this is a really good like full coverage BB cream, but it's also matte. So I think it would be really nice for the summertime. Now we need a drugstore concealer and some cream products. I'm going to go drugstore with the concealer since we have some high-end base products so far. Let's see. Oh, you know what? This concealer, I find it to be so underrated. The Eye Serum Concealer from Joa. You can get this at CVS and it is extremely hydrating, but it still brightens up the under eyes really nicely. The packaging is really messy, but it's really good. For cream contour, I've actually kind of rediscovered this product recently. It's the NYX Wonder Stick and it is amazing. So blendable, so easy. You get a highlighter on one side and then the bronzer on the other. I love the bronzer the most, but it's just such an easy like go-to kind of product for every day and it blends really nicely. So I'm gonna do this and this one's in light medium. And then we need some blush. Definitely gonna go with like a neutral kind of blush. It's not too pink, not too warm. I think I'm gonna do a little combination and make my own glowy blush with Rare Beauty. So I'm gonna use the liquid highlighter. This one is in Mesmerize. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Rare Beauty Encourage. I don't even know if I use this color ever, but I feel like that would be like a really pretty neutral pink combo now we have to add a little bit more blush honestly because i love blush so i think i'm gonna layer this up and one of the best pink blush palettes is from metamorphosis it's the conchita blush palette it is next level gorgeous and you get the best variety of pink shades so i'm gonna layer it up with this powder of the day is gonna be the wet and wild photo focus translucent powder i just picked this up i don't remember if i ever used this honestly i might have years ago but i tried the banana shade recently and it's way too dark for my skin so i'm gonna try the translucent one out today for pressed powder now this it was on my mind the other day because i saw it on tiktok rimmel stay matte don't mind the crack on there, but I used to love this powder in high school. So this is what I'm going to use to set my entire face. For a lip combo, I want to do something mauve pink. So I'm kind of thinking maybe an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner because I have all the shades and they're so pretty. This one is in Auburn. I definitely want something more pink so that everything looks a little bit more monochromatic. I really also like the Hard Candy Insta Pout lip liners. Those are really good. Rimmel lip liner in cappuccino where are you somewhere in here but that one is another one of my favorites right here it's such a perfect cool tone lip liner <laughs> my hand's shaking don't mind that but yeah that's a good one oops but i think anastasia is going to be the winner dusty rose actually looks like the perfect shade for the blush yes it does that's the winner. And tell me why now I'm looking at this Aurora Struck palette from ColourPop and I'm like, wait, this kind of goes with the theme perfectly. So I might actually grab this too in case I need some extra shades for the look. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a combo of both or maybe I'll do this one over CoverGirl. I don't know, but it's like perfect. So that's the winner. And then for gloss, I have this Tower 28 gloss in mind. It's right here. Pistachio is the name, right? Yes, it is. It's like the perfect kind of creamy pink and it matches with the blush really nicely. So these are the products. Now let's do a full face. Per usual, I'm going to start with a little Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. I love this. I'm going to use a little bit of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set that down. Oh my gosh, even the smell of this is the same. It's just like when I was in high school. Starting off with the ColourPop Aurora palette. I can never say that right. I feel like I always maybe butcher the name, but I'm gonna take this bucket list color, which is a soft taupe. It's like a taupey brown, and I'm just gonna apply that as my neutral blending shade. We're definitely gonna do pretty much all the cool tone vibes today, so. This is a perfect color for this. Just gives it a little bit of a light shadow. Then I'm going to take this color down here in a midnight sun. And I'm going to tap that on the outer lid. It's like a really dark brown with like a purpley undertone. I was just going to use that ColourPop, or not the ColourPop, the CoverGirl palette that I picked first. But I'm so happy that I saw this because it's 
very fitting with the theme and I like some of the colors in here like for matte shades because there's a bit more variety wow this color is really pigmented this looks crazy hold on don't you worry because what do I always say we have to trust the process I'm just going to focus this on the outer part of my lid. I'm gonna extend it out just a little bit, but most of that color is just gonna be right there. And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush just to diffuse this out and blend it a little bit better. I want the boring colors down first before we add the color on the lid so we can kind of get the vision a little bit. I need more of this color. I like this a lot because it's dark but it's not as harsh as a black bringing it in a little bit in this area like halfway just to make this look smoky around the edges This color is blending out really nicely a little trick that I always do I mean it's not my trick it's kind of just how I've always done my makeup, but keeping a handheld mirror as you're doing your makeup and then one at your table that's a little bit further away, it just helps you to see, like, is everything even? Do you need to add a little bit more? So always have multiple mirrors on hand when you are getting ready, because it helps. So I think this is good for the base of the look. I like this a lot, actually. Now let's add some purple. So I think I like the colors in the ColourPop palette. Maybe I'll regret this. I don't know, but I love the ones in this CoverGirl eyeshadow palette. I feel like I have to try these first. So I'm going to start off with this purple right here, and then I'm going to add that shimmer glittery color over top. So this is the base. It's kind of like a magenta color. Mm. You know what? No, that's actually not the vibe that we're going for today. I think I have an idea. So I'm actually not gonna use that color. I was gonna use this color and then the other over top, but I feel like it's a little bit too kind of like pinky, magenta-y, and I'm not feeling that. I'm gonna go into this color right here. This one is called Radio Waves. I am dipping my brush, and then I'm gonna spray it with a little setting spray. Ooh, I love it. It's kind of like a purple with a bit of like a kind of bluish undertone. Gorgeous. We're gonna really take it there in just a minute with the other palette, but this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna apply a little bit extra with my finger. These apply best with your finger or with a wet brush. I'm so happy I didn't use this color first because it was way too magenta for my liking, but the color right next to it, I'm gonna add over top for a little extra glitter pop. It's very similar to the color that I have on my lid, but it's a bit more sparkly. Yeah, there's a bunch of like the fallout. So I don't actually don't know if I love that palette. I tried another CoverGirl palette. It was like a warm tone one and I love it. I think it performed really well, but some of these in here, they're like, mm. These are some of the swatches in the CoverGirl palette. I thought these were gonna be a bit more vibrant my finger was just a little damp because I used a makeup wipe, but not really what I expected. I'm glad I grabbed the ColourPop palette because that really came through. I'm going to use the black color in the ColourPop palette. I'm going to do a little shadow wing because I just love the way it looks. making this pretty thick too because I think I want to outline this with a light lavender liquid liner. NYX Vivid Brights liner. I love these. It just adds a really nice pop of color. They come in a couple different shades as well. This one I love. It's a really nice lavender. It's in Lilac Link. And I'm pretty much just going to outline that wing. I love doing this little graphic liner pop. I mean, it's not really graphic liner, but like it kind of just, it just makes it pop a little bit. You could even go underneath if you wanted to as well. I think I'm gonna leave it like that, but these are so vibrant and they're really easy to work with. 
I also kind of want to clean up my lid area a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take that same flat shader brush that I was using for my lid color and I'm going to just wipe it, get it nice and flat. And then I'm going to take a lighter color in here. This one is really pretty. It's kind of like a white shade with the purple kind of iridescence to it. I'm going to take that right onto the top like tip of the brush. So literally like right on the top of it. Spray your brush. And with that wet brush, the shadow just sticks so much better. And I kind of do it and then flick it out a little bit about midway. It sort of looks as if you did a little bit of a liner or like a very faint cut crease. I love to do this with my eyeshadow. It's a very minor detail, but I like it. I think it just looks a bit more cleaned up. You could do this with any color eyeshadow, like a white, anything really. Gonna just emphasize that a little bit more right on the lid. So I ended up going with the AF94 lashes. I love how these are very voluminous, but they have a little bit of a tapered effect on the outer corner. So now for primer, let's use the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. This is definitely one of those products that is worth a splurge. I love this formula. Let's go in and do a little mixture here. So I'm going to do the one size turn up the base BB cream along with the Fenty Ease Drop All Over Glow Enhancer. This is one of those glow enhancers that is so pretty. It's not like the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to show you. It does add a really nice glow to the skin, but you can also mix it with your foundation as well. But it's pretty subtle compared to a lot of glow enhancers that are on the market currently. Like it gives a glow, but it's very natural. So I really like this product. I feel like now for summer, this is nice because it doesn't make you look like a straight up disco ball, but it does give you a little bit of that glow. It's really pretty actually. I need to use this more because sometimes I forget about this because I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about this product. It's one of the more underrated Fenty Beauty products, but it's really beautiful. See, it just gives you a little glow, but not too much. It's not too reflective. And it's perfect because this one size BB balm is really matte. So it just gives it a little bit of a glow. And this one, by the way, I have in the shade medium one. And the packaging on this is not ideal. Yeah, it's like oozing on the sides. So packaging, not the best, but I remember really liking this because it is so matte and it has good coverage. It is thicker though, so if you have dry skin, you're not gonna like this. I'm gonna spray some setting spray on my brush because you see how thick this is? And I'm definitely gonna work in sections because it dries pretty quick as well. The color is probably a little bit too light, actually. I've been getting some color from the sun from just being outside. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit too light. Beautiful product, but the packaging needs some work because this is just really messy. I wish it was just like a traditional kind of like squeezy tube. As much as I do like it though, I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because of the packaging alone, which is unfortunate because it's a nice product, but especially now it's like really messy and oozing out of the side. So it's like wasting product, you know? Let's do a little blush combo here. So Rare Beauty Mesmerize Liquid Luminizer with the Encourage Liquid Blush. I've actually never done this before. So I'm excited because I've seen a lot of people do this on TikTok and it just gives it such a pretty glowy effect. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the highlighter and then a little bit of the blush. And I don't think I've ever even used this blush before either. So let's do a little mixture and look at that glow. So pretty. Oh, I like that. I feel like this kind of tones down the blush a little bit too because it adds that glow. That's pretty. Makes the blush a little bit more kind of manageable, you know, because they're so pigmented. So I like this little trick. I mean, and really, you can do it with any liquid highlighter and blush. But I like this combo. Oh, yes, I like it. Okay, I actually love it. Very glowy, but again, not a lot. It doesn't look 
excessive but depending on how much highlighter you add you can get more of a glow or a little bit more of just like a lighter sheen now i'm going to add some of the nyx wonder stick in light medium now with this product i don't mind applying it all over like this because it doesn't lift any of your product underneath and it has a really nice blend to it i also like this shade too because it's a bit more cool toned so but it's also not too gray on my skin. This comes in a couple different shades and NYX has the same version in blush form as well, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna really buff this into my hairline just to bring some color back to the skin. I'm gonna do a little bit under here. I love how this blends too. Love it. It's funny because I really thought I was going to just use the CoverGirl palette today. Like That was kind of like the main inspo and I ended up not even really using that and just using the ColourPop palette. So ColourPop really came through today. Now I'm dying. Oh wait, I was going to say I'm dying to put on concealer, but let me blend out the nose contour. I'm going to use a BK Beauty A506 brush. No look is complete until we add some concealer. I'm going to use the Joa Eye Serum. And this one is in MN005, medium with neutral undertones. So you do have to twist it up. It's kind of like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So the packaging is not also the best because it's pretty messy, but it's such a nice formula. Let me know down below if packaging is a deal breaker for you guys in any way. I feel like for me it depends on the product, it depends how messy it is, but I think if the product is more expensive, I mind a little bit more when it comes to packaging because it's not always the most convenient, but I don't know. Let me know if that really bothers you guys or not. Now we're going to set everything. I'm excited to use this Wet n Wild translucent powder because the banana one, I used it before like a few weeks back and it ruined my makeup because it was too dark on my skin. So I think the banana version is best if you have the deeper skin tone, if you are tanner. A lot of people compare this to the Huda Beauty powder, which is interesting because I actually love the Huda Beauty Easy Bake, but let's see. I don't remember if I used this. I want to say that I did, but it was probably years ago at this point. I really like the packaging on the Wet n Wild powder, by the way. It's huge and it's so affordable. Wow, it's definitely matte for sure. I mean, it literally looks very blurring. I'm just gonna apply this on my under eyes, by the way. Okay, dang, that does look really good. Okay, I don't know what's happening around my nose area. It's kind of like clinging to like where I used to have my nose pierced once upon a time which was a big mistake because i ended up getting this bump that would not go away because i got my nose pierced with a hoop instead of a stud and I, that's probably what it was that caused that but anyways this looks really good wow it gives that kind of like matte blurred effect like huda beauty it does give some brightness too to the under eyes the packaging just doesn't get any better than this. It's nice and big. I like it because you can put the excess powder right back into it. It's just, it's really good. I feel like a lot of brands should learn from Wet n Wild with the translucent powder. Now a little Rimmel Stay Matte. This one is just the transparent shade. This is a classic. I used to always set my entire makeup with this and then bring this to school with me because I used to have really oily skin like more than I do now. I feel like now my skin is just more combo but in high school my face was very oily and this was my favorite powder. I'm gonna use the Conchita blush palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color and this shade. The way that this is so pigmented one of my favorite pink blush palettes of all time because you have all the shades of pink it's vibrant it's just it if you love pink blush this is a must-have in your collection do a little bit on my nose abh lip liner in dusty rose the color that i'm currently loving is i believe it's dusty mauve it's so good but these last such a long time they don't smudge or smear 
Mm, I don't think this matches with the look. I love how these just glide on the lips though. It's a pretty color, I just don't really love it with the eyeshadow look. I feel like it's kind of a little bit too pink. I keep getting lip liner like on my chin, like what is happening? Mm, it's kind of just not, it's not what I want, but I, it's a pretty color. So I think we're gonna switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna take this off because I don't like it. I don't like it with this look. I want something a little bit like less, less rosy, I guess. So I'm gonna grab another lip liner, Anastasia, just a different color. So the color I was using was Dusty Rose. I told you the color that I'm loving is Dusty Mauve. That's so wrong, it's deep taupe. <laughs> this is this was actually in my purse. Love this shade. Let's see how this looks with this look now. Mm -hmm. It does give some color, but it's a little bit more neutral, less kind of rose. Now sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, some of the names of these I think can be a little bit different than what the actual color is. Like I thought that the pink was gonna be a little bit kind of more mauve toned, but on the lips, it actually is just more of like a rose. But this one, by the way, Deep Taupe, it's just perfect. It's kind of like Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. But it's a little bit, I think, darker. So if you like Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, you have to try Deep Taupe from Anastasia. And it's not too gray too, which I like. So Tower 28 Pistachio. I love this. A true non-sticky gloss formula. Okay, this combo though, love it. See, and I feel like this matches the blush a little bit better. Love the way this turned out, but we're not done yet. Let's do the lower lashes. So I think I'm gonna go with the purple liner from LA Girl, the Shockwave in Vivid. I'm gonna line my waterline with this. I'm also gonna kind of smudge it on my lower lash line a little bit as well. We're gonna take a little bit of this shimmer purple right here and just smudge it out. Nothing too specific. Just back and forth. Then for the inner corner, I'm going to take this color right here and head north. Let's try the blue mascara. I know I don't really have a lot of blue, like any blue. The purple has a bit of a blue undertone, but I just kind of want to try it. If I don't like it, I'll just go over it with black. I've tried this mascara already. I just wasn't sure how I was going to look with this look, but it doesn't look that bad. Colourpop does have a purple mascara actually, but mine is definitely old and expired. This is pretty. Eh, it kind of like changes the look a little bit. I don't know if it's like a bit much. You see like it's, it's a lot of blue, but I do like this. If you ever want to do a like a pop of color, this is a really good mascara. And if you have brown eyes, blue is supposed to make them pop. Should I leave it or should I do black? I don't know if it's like too much because I feel like now should I just do black liner on the waterline or just leave it like that? Okay, I actually really like this mascara. It's fun. You know, I'm going to just leave it like that because I always do neutral looks and you guys get on me for it. So I'm going to just leave it with the blue mascara and call it a day. Last but not least, we're going to set everything with the Photo Finish Weightless Setting Spray. The mister on this is really nice. I wonder if this is still available. I want to say that it is, but... This was like my holy grail before I discovered Charlotte Tilbury in one size. We're gonna let that marinate and by the way, the blue mascara, I like it, double thumbs up. This is why I love these videos because I just get to rediscover products. Like the Smashbox spray seems really nice. Like I can see why I used to love it back in the day. I like the mister on it and the formula feels like it gives you a soft matte finish without that tight dry feeling. Love the complexion products. I think the eye makeup is really fun. I also love the lip combo. This is like my perfect kind of everyday combo that I feel like would work for a lot of different eye looks as well. Also the blue mascara I thought was gonna be a bit much but I feel like it tied everything together so love this for my brown eyed people or if you just love blue mascara this one is a good one and this wet and wild powder looks so good I definitely want to compare this to Huda Beauty because it does give that similar effect like when you first put it on it is 
pretty intense and it's matte but once it fully absorbs it looks so smooth i really like it so again this one is the photo focus translucent powder so that is everything for today's video don't forget to shop your stash and do a pop of color now because it's june which means summer is right around the corner so thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and i cannot wait to see you in my next one